Developing this afternoon, search and rescue crews are still trying to find seven or eight missing people. This is after the country's deadliest tornado outbreak in nearly six years. 23 people died when at least 18 twisters touched down in Alabama, Georgia, Florida and South Carolina on Sunday. Omar Villafranca shows us how crews are navigating these damaged areas. The National Weather Service now says the deadly EF4 tornado that ravaged Beauregard, Alabama, tracked for 70 miles well into Georgia. Crews are still looking for missing people and say they have narrowed their focus. A lot of heavy equipment coming into these particular areas that we're using to pick up uh, big portions of the debris uh, to do searches under those areas. Victims range from 6 to 89 years old. One family lost seven loved ones. Carol Dean's husband David had been sheltering inside their mobile home. Our son found him. He was done gone before we got to him. And authorities say the death toll could have been higher. Crews fixed a damaged radar at Maxwell Air Force Base just before the tornado outbreak. If that radar had not been up, we may not have been able to detect this tornado as quickly as we did. Alabama residents had at least eight minutes warning. Kayleen Butler's family in Georgia had up to 40 minutes to prepare. A tornado ripped their trailer home in half and then flipped it upside down. She says her granddaughter was almost sucked out. She found a copy of the New Testament in the rubble. And this is why my family is alive. Meteorologists warn more severe weather could come through the area this weekend. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Lee County, Alabama.